Greetings YouTube. Welcome to the first episode of this Let's Play with Endless Legend. It's a new game I picked up. It's an early access game on Steam right now. Um, I played through one uh, game here uh, after I first bought it and just absolutely love this game. It's a turn-based strategy game. And for me, who I don't like fantasy games, um, but this is a really cool uh, fantasy game. So uh, I thought, heck, I'm going to do a Let's Play um, series on this game. It is early access. It's um, developed by Amplitude Studios, a small indie development company. Uh, and they also published it. Same folks who uh, did the game Endless Space. Which I've watched the video of quite a bit. Um, I don't know that that one appeals to me as much as this one has since I played it, but uh, nonetheless, uh, I really, really enjoyed my first walkthrough uh, with this game. So I'm going to go ahead and get started, and and um, I'm going to play this kind of normal and uh, just kind of walk you through it. instead of trying to explain everything beforehand. There's a lot of options when you go into uh, early game. You can play with empires up to six uh, uh, units on the map. I'm playing just me and one other, which would be AI, of course. Um, just because I want to, uh, again, I just wanted to figure out how to do this. You can play as one of several races. You can see over here, Wild Walkers, Broken Lords. Little hints that pop up to tell you a little bit about each of the, the uh, races. My last game I played as the Vaulters. I really enjoyed playing them. Uh, necrophages. So there's four uh, races right now. This time I am going to play as the Wild Walkers. Part of the reason for that is um, I really like the ranged units. And the Wild Walkers and the Vaulters uh, have ranged units. So let's take a look a little bit closer at the Wild Walkers if we pick them. Here's the Empire summary here. Uh, you see a little bit about uh, their trait for the faction. Uh, you start with these three, uh, Way of the Woodlands, Seed Storage, and Sewer System, already researched in the research tree. Um, see if I can make it. Okay, there we go. Uh, the Sharing, this is uh, another trait or the affinity uh, for the Empire. Not really sure exactly what that means. We'll figure it out as we go. And then your three military units are your Dakari Rangers, which is a ranged unit, of course. Um, the Agachi Shaman which is a support unit and then the Tanai walkers which are of course infantry units so I'm gonna start this game uh, as the wild walkers and so it says here a faction of creators and builders these people strive to bind rocks and trees into great living monuments their relationship with dust is intense dust is a game's uh, uh, currency, if you will. Uh, but So their relationship with dust is intense and dangerous. Under its influence, it can suddenly explode into berserker rages, whatever that means. Uh, here's what I know. Okay, with living towns, I'm going to get uh, some effects. Uh, you can see the effects uh, from this trait with this faction is if you build your cities in uh, forest, then you get a plus one on your... Um, it's that's basically your research um, or your your construction your industry um, trait for each uh, for your city so you can build armies and stuff all that stuff quicker so uh, obviously you want to you want to build your cities into the natural surroundings into the forest so without any further ado I'll, I'll explain it as best I can as we are going so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get this thing started it does take Oh, a minute or so to um, load into a new game. So I am going to just allow that to happen here. I suppose I could cut this part of the video out, but my apologies about that. Here it goes. Getting ready to render in. So, this, um... <coughs> Ooh, nice starting 
Um, so here's my guy. Here's my little army. Okay, we've got a, a wandering army. Uh, I have in this army. Um, I have a settler who's going to be obviously uh, who we create our first city with. Uh, we've got um, in two Dakari Ranger units. Additionally, I also have a hero. Okay, heroes play a relatively important role, as best as I can tell, in this game. And um, so they are, uh, I have one assigned to my unit, and um, that's a good thing. So, and you can see when you uh, look, when I, when I click on this, you pop up right up here, um, where it's, it is a ranged unit. Uh, attack is 25, its life is 44, uh, its speed is defense. Initiative just has something to do with how um, how they attack. Um, again, each of these units, the settlers, really just not for combat. Uh, these Takari Rangers will have a life of 30 and 19 attack. Um, and again, you can see um, the ranged combat is really nice in this game. So I'm sure at some point in this series, we're going to go ahead and, and uh, get into that. So I want to lay down my first city because I've really... Um, let me zoom out. So, so here's what happens in this map. So you can see uh, the edges of this map. Um, there they are. There's one other empire in here with me. Okay, so you can zoom way out like this. And then, of course, we can zoom right in and uh, get in pretty, pretty good. So what I want to do, because I get all kinds of um, industry um, credits from building and force, I am going to... Uh, construct my first city and I am going to do it right here um, in fact I think I'm going to build it right here at some point in time I'm going to get some credits for being on river tiles as well so I think what I want to do ah yeah there's some gold you see when I when I'm doing the city um, you see all the little icons uh, that that go over um, go over this so I've got a lot of um, again, these guys get science from mountain rocks, and it gets uh, plus one um, effects in the industry uh, for each of these tiles that is in the city. So I'm going to go ahead and build right here. I also have in this, I have this this golden tree right here, which will also give me some really nice benefits from being in my city. So I'm going to go ahead and just build my first city right here. And that, so what that does here is that opens up my city screen. Uh, and this is my city screen up here. Uh, my population has an 80% happy rating, which is great. Um, uh, and again, per turn, uh, this just tells you I've got a population of one right now. Um, and what, and you can control somewhat uh, some of your output. Uh, so per person that's in each of these, this is food. Uh, this is your industrial uh, potential, this is your science generation, and your dust. Uh, this is your influence right here. So when I have, when I have more uh, population that pops up in the city, I can distribute them on any one of these. And what happens is for every citizen that's working uh, food in this case, we get a plus four bonus. So in the city tiles themselves, I only have one food generated. That's right here. You can see it in this tile. Um, so the city tiles only produce one food. I've got a minus one um, because of uh, consumption from the population. So that one population is consuming two uh, bits of food. So I got minus one there and then uh, the plus four for the person who's in here. So I'm only producing four food per turn, which is not very good. Uh, my town won't grow real quickly. Uh, you can see it's going to take me six to lay six uh, turns until I get my next uh, population. I can take this and I can move them uh, anywhere I want. You see what happened to my food there? It went down. This increased by four because I get four industry per person. I am going to keep him uh, in food though uh, so that we do get some kind of production. Um, so uh, again, um, this is your city tile. Uh, I can click out of it anytime. You can see that my city is laid down. Um, these guys really like to build in the in the uh, town. So I think I still have some moves left. I do. So I'm going to try to go over here and explore these ruins here. Uh, 
but I got no moves left. Uh, so you can see here, there's no moves left. So I'm going to go ahead and end my turn. And um, we can see that we have a technology to research. So this opens up the technology screen. As I said earlier, we've got we've already got seed storage, which will increase your food. I'm gonna I'm gonna this is gonna be my first building is a is a seed storage uh, because I need some food here. You can see that'll give me plus 10 on the city, plus 10 food, uh, plus 20 percent on the whole city, uh, and then uh, minus one it costs you dust to upkeep it. So I'm gonna do that. But in the meantime, it's time to um, pick my next research with this wild walker I get again the sewer system which uh, adds happiness and approval or happiness uh, to the city uh, influence and you get this seed storage already researched so those are research this is we're in phase one or, or I think it, they call it era one in research so here's your military um, your military uh, researches so let's see what I got here I've got stronghold which is uh, city defenses Rookery, what does that do? Unlocks the heroes section of the marketplace. Well, I'm not going to worry about that right yet. Um, and let's go ahead. I'm going to I'm going to research the Agachi Shaman. So that'll give me my support units. I'm also going to uh, you can you can actually line up a couple of these in a row um, to um, to do. Uh, so let me see what else I want. See, here's one that, uh, this one does plus two uh, dust on every tile that has a river, um, and then plus three on any that has lakes or oceans, not the rivers. So I do have a couple of, uh, like three tiles, I think, that are on a river. So I'm going to go ahead and research the Empire Mint second. So you see that that puts my Shaman first, my Empire second here, uh, and then I'm going to go ahead and close that screen. So i got a couple of them laid out. Also, before I um, before I end my turn, I'm going to go in here and I am going to go to my construction menu here. And as I said, I am going to um, put a seed storage into the construction queue uh, because I do need to produce some food. Uh, so I'm going to do that. What else do I want? Founders Memorial. You can only build one of these, and it it adds, as you can see, you can only build one of this in your entire empire. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and build it on this first city. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and put that in the queue as well. Um, and uh, sewer systems will add happiness. I don't need that quite yet, so I'm going to wait for a little bit on that one. Um, and uh, I think, hey, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and throw one more Dakari Ranger in the construction queue as well. So. I think I've maximized my turn uh, this time, so I will go ahead um, and let me see if I have, yeah, so I've end turn, so I'm going to go ahead and end that turn, and we've got a quest that popped up. Now quests are um, a little bit different in this game, um, and uh, we can see that uh, uh, what the quest is, and, and we'll win. Um, some different stuff. These are blood crystals are something that you can use uh, later in game to increase your uh, attacks or uh, it provides, yeah, you can see that this provides blood crystals 25% to your attack strength. Uh, so so I'm going to need to explore the map and search three ruins. Uh, that's the objective here. So uh, that's fine. I've got a couple of them right here uh, next to where I am. So uh, that works out good. I'm going to go ahead and search this one first, and you'll see when I search it, oh, I gained 30 influence from uh, searching. Um, oh, actually, this just gave me a new a new uh, quest already, a relic of the past. Keeping the Empire's gear includes paying attention to the tales. Travelers and vagabonds, you hear of a place full of artifacts from the ancient days. So it's asked me to search your ruins and unearth secrets of the past. And I'll win some influence by doing that. That's fine. That's great. Uh, so I'm going to also take this. What do we got over here? Glass steel deposit. Um, so I'm going to have to go out and search some more ruins here. Uh, so let's go ahead and throw him off this way. Uh, what do we 
we got here. There's some more ruins right there, so I'll be able to get to them next turn. In the meantime, I'm just going to go ahead and compute out the next turn. You see, my research is already complete um, on on a uh, the sh shaman, the uh, uh, Gachi shaman. So that means that I can now. You'll find them in my city queue. You'll see that uh, the Agachi shaman are now in my queue. So I'm going to go ahead and queue one of them up as well. Now, I, I, a lot of people maybe are more diplomatic in um, diplomacy they use in these games. I tend to be more of a violent guy, so I go for the military uh, might first. So uh, that's what I'm going to do, and I am. Uh, I think I have some moves left. Uh, yeah. So let me see if I can research this or search these ruins. I sure can. And in these ruins, I found 40 dust. So that's good. That adds to my stockpile of dust. Uh, I still have two turns left. So let's go ahead. You can see, by the way, um, uh, these, there's some valleys here. Um, what do we got here? We got some geothermal pits. Nice. Um, our units cannot actually, terrain does matter, so he could not just march down off of here because he has to go around it uh, and get into that. So terrain does matter in here. What do we, oh, we got some more ruins over here. So we're going to, we're going to send this guy this way. Uh, and we're going to end the turn. I want to complete this quest. I've already got two of the three ruins. Um, so before I end this video, I'm going to go ahead and, um, oh, Okay, so what these are, minor factions. In every single province on this map, there are um, what are called minor factions. And you can do treat your minor factions in one of several ways. You can ignore them if you choose to, uh, but they will just continually attack you. Uh, or if you want, you can attack them. Uh, I can sack their city if I want. Uh, and when I sack their city... Uh, then I will rebuild their city, and, and then they become a faction that I can assimilate into my empire. In other words, um, in my construction crew, if I was to, to assimilate this faction into my empire, then this cavalry unit, the centaurs that are uh, the, the, the boss um, military unit, I could actually build them and, uh, and, and assimilate them into my armies as I create my armies. So um, we found a new, uh, and later in the game, right now the only option I have is to go attack them. Uh, later in the game what I will have is I will have the ability to either bribe them into my empire, which means no battle, I just have to pay gold basically, or I can complete a quest for them, at which point uh, they'll become friendly and I can assimilate them into the empire. So, uh, But for now, I'm just going to ignore them because I want to go get this quest right here. So I'm going to end this turn. And uh, I have completed. These guys are completing this stuff fast <laughs> because I've, well, because I got a lot of research. So um, that's good. I'm going to go back to my city here. See, I still got plenty in the research queue. The seed storage is getting ready to be done. Um, I've got, uh, yeah, I still got four things in the. In the so I'm going to leave it as is. Uh, I'm going to go back and I am going to search this. Again, so I have completed the 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 quest, the trees or towers, uh, and what I got for that was blood crystals. So um, you marvel at the works of the ancients and you fear them. Your mind turns to thoughts of defense. I'm not really sure what that means, but I have completed the first quest that was given to me. So, and the second quest then pops right up, and in this one, I won't read all that to you. It says your empire must grow and you must have help to do this. Make contact with a neighboring minor faction and assimilate them into your empire peacefully or forcibly. Uh, and again, if I do that, then Visions of Glory, which is a, um, uh, which is a, a city defense uh, research, will be given to me. So, or I'll be able to uh, build Visions of Glory in my city. So that uh, is nice. Uh, I did complete the Relic of the Past, search, that's why I got 34 um, influence. I got 30, but now I have 34 because I'm turning one per round as well. Um, so, so that's awesome. So what I want to do right now is I want to go back. This is not really my favorite faction, but I'm going to go ahead 
and um, come back here. Before I end this video, I want to show you... Uh, oh, my, my hero is leveled up. So I can go in to my hero, and since this is a general in my army, I want to work... There's three different lines. There's, they're all uh, kind of integrated with one another, but the blue line here is more geared towards the uh, military. The right one, the orange one here, is geared primarily towards if I make a hero a city governor and then he and he provides some benefit to the city um, depending on the hero themselves um, and then the middle one is uh, let's see this helps greater chance of unearthing ancient relics and so this is more about the explorer the army explorer so I'm gonna go with the military here this will give this guy a plus one on unit movement which means I'll be able to move one further um, unit each instead of four I can I think I'll be able to move five now so I'm gonna apply that uh, and dismiss uh, and I yes you can see that now I have five uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and move one more I want to end this turn oh and you can see that I have nothing in the in the search I already finished both of those searches holy smack that's crazy um, I am going to do an open pit mine because you see what this will do for me. It'll give me a. It will allow me to build a whole bunch of things. Uh, uh, different. Um, what are they called? Resources. Uh, so I'll be able to extract uh, this stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and research that first. Um, then I've got. Let's see. Um, I'm going to want this late game. So I'm going to go ahead and research it now. Uh, so that's good. Uh, and then I need to end this turn. And I'm going to prepare to... So I'm going to show you the battle system. Um, oh, i got to end this turn. It just... I thought it ended. <laughs> I was going to say, how come I can't move in there? Okay. So seed storage is completed doing the Founders Memorial. So if I, with, with that true, let me go back and click on my city again. So you can see what happened. My seed storage was done. So I got 13, plus 13 from city improvement, plus 2.3 from being happy, um, and minus 2 from consumption. So my food just went from 4 per turn up to 19. So that means my city is going to grow much faster. See, I'm, I'm one turn away from... Uh, producing my next citizen so so that's a, that's a good one that seed storage so it's time to show you the combat uh, before I finish this thing so I'm gonna go ahead and attack um, so you can either do this manually or you can do this uh, auto I always play them manually you can see that uh, these guys are pretty uh, pretty hefty uh, you can see that the, according to the AI, it says that I have a slightly better than 50% chance. I'm going to fight a man here. Let me show you how this works. It's actually pretty cool. So it'll, it'll raise your armies uh, in, in different places like this. And I'm going to tell them, I, I think what I can do is I can actually move these guys to, um, to a different... I think I can move them and set them. Um, where I want them a little bit more likely. I'm going to go ahead and move those guys up here. I'm going to move um, my hero right here. Okay, and then I'm going to say, so you can set them up however you want within, obviously, within that realm there. And then once I'm done, I'm going to say, ready? Now what I want to do is I want to focus my fire. So I am going to click on each army, and I'm going to left click on the army, right click on the target. Once I so I'm going to focus this guy down. Actually, you know what? Ah, crap! I, I probably did this wrong. I should have focused this guy first because this guy has to come around the water to get me. But that's okay. Just for the sake of doing it, I'm going to show you. Oh, these guys got a pretty high initiative, so they're going to beat my butt first. See, so these guys have a very high initiative, so... Oh, nice. Okay, so these guys should 
finish them off. Now they should turn their attention over here. Okay, well, this unit almost died completely. But there you go. So there's the first battle. I should have played out a little bit better, actually. Uh, so you can see, when looking at uh, my Dakari, these, guy, these have 2 of 30 life hit points left. So this ranger unit is in really serious shape. So he will heal over time. Uh, this one didn't take any damage, and my hero, of course, didn't take any damage either. So... Thank you. It dismissed the. Uh, so you can see this village is burning now. It will take a few turns, uh, several turns, and then this will be um, be ready to come back to uh, to me. It's in a different territory, but I still believe I can assimilate them into my um, into my empire. I'm gonna run back here and hang around my capital for for a while because uh, I'm I'm hurting and I want to see this guy these guys heal. So. Uh, in addition, look at that. We got a new uh, new population or new new person in our. So again, I can go in here now, and I can add. Um, I can move this around. So like, if I want to grow my influence a little bit more, which I think I might want to do, I'm going to put that over there. I get two extra for having somebody working in there. Uh, so I think I'm going to do that. I'm pretty happy with the rest of those. Um, and, uh, and and we'll call that good. The other thing that you can do is, if I look down here, I can actually do an early buyout. So for 60 dust, I can go ahead and buy the Founders Memorial. I think I'm going to go ahead and do that, because that should increase my output here. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and buy that out. Cost me 60 dust. And at the end of the next turn, at the when I end this turn, it will... Um, uh, it will credit that. Oh, I found another minor faction. These are vine snakes. Oh boy. Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm just gonna let them be for the time being. Where are they? Ah, uh, oh, they're over here and down here. So I'm not gonna worry about them for the time being. I do want to end my turn and see what happens then to my. Now my research is complete. That's good. Uh, Founders Memorial is completed, so that should mean that my city's being even more productive. Yep, see everything kicked up because the Founders Memorial will um, kick things up here. Uh, and then what I want to do, I'm just going to bring him back into the city because in a turn or two, let's look at the construction queue of my city. Uh, in three turns, I'm going to go ahead and um, actually let's go ahead and that's uh, an 86 buy. Eh, we'll wait. Uh, for three turns. Uh, so, oh, look at this. See, so I can build a wine extractor here uh, because um, in my research queue, let's go to the research here. Uh, in my research, um, I did this. So, see, one of the, the things is the wine extractor. So now I can, that's a, a luxury item that I can, a resource that I can pull out and it adds. Um, it adds something to the city, so uh, I can go ahead and, and, and do that, um, add that, since that's a, a resource that we have within our territory. So I'm going to cut this video off right now, and uh, I'll come back to it again here shortly. Um, but uh, this is a start, and I've done a little exploring so far. Again, I can zoom out of the map now. You can see that my territory is here. I still haven't explored the whole thing over here. Uh, and uh, I'm going to want to uh, do exactly that here uh, shortly, and uh, and I will. So I'm going to, uh, for now though, I'm going to sign off, uh, get my army healed up, uh, add a couple more units to my army so that uh, when we go out, it'll be uh, uh, a little bit, um, a little bit easier to fight the enemies early game, and uh, and we'll keep rocking. Um, this uh, city of Ladora, Ladura, and uh, this empire. So, this is Endless Legend. Again, it's an indie early access game. I really, really, really enjoy it. Um, it's much more fun than I am capable of explaining, uh, but I really do recommend it if you're into uh, turn-based strategy games. Uh, again, I'm not a fantasy fan, generally speaking, but I sure do like this game. So, um, 
So I do, I do recommend it highly. Uh, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. I'll be glad to try to answer them for you. I'm sure I've just confused you more than anything if you watch this. So uh, until next time, this is Cross Train from Endless Legend. And peace.